everyone, my name is Lem Turner. I'm a brand evangelist here at Helium 10. And in this video, we're gonna be getting into how can we utilize QR codes for our business. So let's get started. So the first things we're gonna get started with is go into our Helium 10 dashboard here and go to our portals, or we can go to, and once we go to our portals, we can go and click on QR codes in the left side of our screen. And that's what's gonna pull up this tab right here. From here, we're going to go ahead and click on new QR code. We have all sorts of different QR codes that are already been established right here. And we have our different categories of if they're using portal link, a tracked URL, untracked URL, and we'll get into what those mean in just a little bit. But right now, we're going to click on new QR code. And you can see we have different options here as far as the QR code type you can choose. So we can see that we have portal link, which is a link to an active portal web page. We have tracked URL, which is a link to any URL that can be tracked in terms of location and where it's getting tracked and also when and what day it got tracked or when it was scanned. And then we also have our untracked URL, which is just going to be linked to any URL that you provide, but it won't be tracked and won't provide you with any statistics that we typically do for our consumers. So if we go to our portal link, you can see it's going to populate all the current portals that we have available on our page. So we have different ones here. We can see some of our paused ones and active ones here. If you want to do a tracked URL, we have our different gems here within our URL, tracked URL page. We can do custom URL, which is going to be a redirect link for any custom non-Amazon related URLs. Then we have our canonical URL, which is just a search engine friendly Amazon URL where it has keywords integrated into the actual URL uh, when you're looking at it on Amazon listing. So we can include those as well. We have our add to cart, which is going to send traffic directly to our add to cart page on Amazon, which can be a tactic that you can utilize to increase our organic rank of your products. Then we have targeted ASIN search, which is going to make sure that you're looking from a specific list of ASINs, or we can do a buy together that combines two more products that way you can kind of get yourself in, a, in association with certain products. And we even have it for Walmart using a two-step via brand by making sure that we're looking at the specific brand and keyword via Walmart. We have our untracked URL, which you're, you can just go ahead and like type in a random URL, whatever you want to track. But in this case, for this example, we're going to get into our portals tab right here. So we're going to click on, let's just click on this one. We're going to select this portals URL. And we're going to click on save and continue. Then we come to our configuration step where we can utilize custom domains, either going through Helium 10's domain of helium10.us, or if we have a different one that we've uploaded it, like in this case, we have coffinshelves.com, so we can do that as well. So we're gonna put QR code example. And I'm just gonna name this uh, as well, uh, example. We have integration that we can populate into here. We have another video that kind of gets into how you get these uh, Facebook pixels or Google analytic tracking numbers. So be sure to check out some of our other videos that go into the more advanced steps of landing pages and portals and that. So we're gonna go ahead and click on save and continue. From there, we can include a logo in the QR code if we think that it's gonna be helpful. So we have our Manny's Mysterious Oddities logo in there. We can put it as a central image or the background. In this case, we're probably gonna do the central image. We can include the URL in the QR code as well if it looks attractive. In this case, this probably doesn't look the most attractive here. So we're probably not gonna include that in there. So we're gonna go ahead and not include that, but it is up to you if you wanna include that. We can choose from the colors that we want to put into our QR code, whether it's black or we do it as white, or we can even do a custom color. Like let's say like, what I, what I really like about this is that you can kind of match it with whatever your brand colors are. So let's say like our brand color was this was F F O zero two zero two. We can make that one of our QR code uh, colors. But in this case, we're just gonna keep it simple and go with black. You can also manipulate the dot scale here. Um, it's really up to you if you want to do that. Uh, it we do know that if occasionally you can uh, experience errors if you go like super small. But so it's best to just kind of keep it normal or a little bit at least intermediate around here. But again, entirely up to you and your business. So once we feel comfortable with where we are at with our QR code, we can go ahead and click on save and finish. And there we have it, we have our QR code. Now check it out in the next video on how do we look at the statistics of it and how it actually works in the next video. We'll see you next time.